Hello viewers. So today I've got my 2013 Giant Defy in the shop here. And I'm going to check the headset bearings. The bike is seven years old and I've never checked them. So I decided it was time to do it. The other thing I'm going to do is flip my stem over. It's up here. I'm going to drop it. Just flip it over so it'll be down here. Give me about a two inch drop. First thing I need to do is Remove the handlebar stem mount bolts. Now before I take this last one out, I need to find a way to support my handlebars. I don't want to just let them flop around. Okay, take out the last bolt. And I've just rigged up some rope hanging from the ceiling to hold the stem, the bars, from falling on the floor. It doesn't look pretty, but hey, it works. Next, I'm going to remove the front wheel. Just loosen the brakes. Loosen the quick release. And out it comes. Okay, next I have to remove the brake caliper. So there's a five millimeter hex in the back. There it is. The bolt is staying in there, so I will just leave it. Next we'll remove the top cap. stem clamp bolts okay, then we just pull the stem off spacers okay next since there's a seal around here these are in kind of tight, so you got to kind of just pull it carefully. You see it's coming. Oh boy. Oh, wow, that was really in there. All right, there's the seal, and then you've got your bearings in there. This is a carbon tube steer tube so you've got to be very careful I'm going to just wipe it off and I'll be honest with you these things have been known to fail catastrophically it doesn't happen very often but it's a good idea to check them every few years just to make sure what I've seen in the past is they just start wearing in one spot and they start digging into the carbon and they can break and that really ruins your day if that happens these look good there's no there's no wearing, it's all one piece. There's no gouges or anything like that in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is check the bearings. This one feels really good, nice and smooth. I'm going to wipe some of the grease off the edges here and get a little road grime under there. Just get that cleaned out really good. Wipe off the bottoms here. Check the bearing in the top. Okay, so I've cleaned everything up. Check the bearings. Well, the bearing is here and here. And so I'm going to go back together with it. I'll get the fork in place. Hold it at the dust seal next. Get that slid down and that will hold it in place. So that you can go ahead and put your stack washers on. And then the stem was like this. I flipped it over. So we'll go like that. And then we put the top washer in. Right, so I'll line it up later. I'm just going to put enough preload on it to keep it from falling out. All right. Next, we'll put the handlebars on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set the handlebars in place. Okay, 
right, so I've just put these in snug so I can still move the handlebars around. Next is the brake. I'll just slide it on. Okay, so just snug so I can put the wheel on and adjust the brakes. So I've removed my makeshift holder for the handlebars. Just need to center the brakes and then drop the wheel back in place. Okay, we'll come around the back here and get the brakes centered as best we can and then tighten the bolt. Now this is a carbon tube, so I'm going to go get my torque wrench. Okay guys, so after hunting around on the internet, I found the torque spec for these. It's 70 inch pounds, which is either 8 to 10 newton meters. Which I'm going to go on the lower side of that. So I got my torque wrench. And I'll get it stuck in the back here. Try to hold it level. So that's good. Actually looks pretty good. I got lucky and eyeballed it. And they appear to be touching at the same time. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I can always adjust it later. Alright, so I want to tighten up my handlebars and get them straight before I adjust the center of the wheel to the handlebar. So a lot of handlebars it's easy to center them on the stem but for some reason these don't have an easy center line so what I'm doing is just taking a yardstick here and I'm just going to line it up so I've got slightly more than 18 and a half and so my center line should be nine and a quarter just a bit more so that's pretty much centered as best I can tell when you ride it, you'll be able to decide if it's right or not. Um, if it doesn't feel right, you can always make an adjustment later. The other thing you want to adjust is the handlebar tilt. Now I've got good gauges on this and it was on three before. Whatever three means. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just torque the bolts down. Now these um, are 50 inch pounds and these aren't as crucial because this handlebar is alloy it's not a carbon bar so I'm not as worried about this as I am about the stem so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these up last thing we need to do is set the wheel to the handlebars and this is hard to do sometimes but just set it as close as you can and then when you go out for a ride you can check it you'll definitely know so I'm gonna tighten up this top cap um, I couldn't find a torque spec for it which is odd so I'm gonna just do what I think is right it wasn't very tight I would say about 20 to 30 inch pounds. Now I'm just going to check, make sure it turns easily and is all set. Okay, now I'm going to set the handlebar to the front tire. I think I got that about right. And these clamp bolts for the stem definitely have the torque setting, and you saw that this was a carbon fiber. Um, steer tube so the nice thing is, is it says right on here six newton meters or 53 inch pounds so I set my torque wrench to 53 inch pounds and I shall just give them a little turn there I do these like a little bit at a time so you don't want to really tighten one and then not the other one so much
All right, guys, here's the finished product. The tire and stem are lined up well, and everything is tight. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. So as you can see, this isn't a difficult project. Uh, it's just something you should do. You should check these carbon uh, steer tubes every now and then and check the bearings just to make sure everything's right. But it's working good, and uh, if you go ahead and do it yourself, just take your time and you can get it done, and I hope it all goes well. Thanks for watching.